Daisy Time by Marjorie Pickthall, 1883-1922. See, the grass is full of stars, fallen in their brightness. Hearts they have of shining gold, rays of shining whiteness. Buttercups have honeyed hearts, bees they love the clover. But I love the daisies dance all the meadow over. Blow, oh blow, you happy winds, singing summer's praises. Up the field and down the field, a-dancing with the daisies. Okay, this poem is by Marjorie Pickthall. Um, let's see, she is a Canadian. She was actually born in London, but age seven, um, she moved, uh, her family moved uh, to Canada. Um, she always wanted to be a, a, a writer, even from a ve very early age. Um, and uh, so, mm, let's see, before, just before the beginning of the First World War, she uh, moved back to um, England and worked as an ambulance driver and a farm labourer during the First World War. Then she returned again to, um, to ca Canada. Um, okay, so she's, uh, she wrote a large number of, uh, of novels as well. Um, she's a modernist, uh, an American modernist poet. Anyway, so, Daisy Time. Um, so what's this about? This, is, this poem is a beautiful description of um, a field of flowers, yeah? Um, it's comparing the different flowers and looking at the beauty of the different flowers. It's um, a, a, a celebration of the, of, of the beauty of the different plants and the beauty of nature and the wonder of nature. Um, I get the feeling that William Wordsworth would have enjoyed this poem. See, the grass is full of stars, fallen in their brightness. So we've got a lovely metaphor to start with. The grass is full of stars. These stars are the flowers. So the grass is full of fallen stars. And that's, I think it's a lovely metaphor. Yeah, and they're shining. They, these fallen stars, these meteorites are shining in the grass. Hearts they have of shining gold, rays of shining whiteness. And here she's very clearly referring to, to the daisies, because the daisy has a heart of shining gold. There's a bright yellow shining centre to a daisy, and rays, the petals, of shining whiteness. So this is um, a, a lovely uh, way to describe the daisy, yeah, shining gold and rays of whiteness. Then she says, buttercups have honeyed hearts. So the heart of a buttercup, another lovely flower, ha has a heart of honey. And if you look, in the, look at the centre of a buttercup, it, it's like there's a little bit of honey in the centre of it, or some sort of sh uh, um, glazed liquid. Bees, they love the clover. So the bees, they, they love clover. Clover's another plant. But I love the daisies dance all the meadow over. So she's saying, but for her, um, the dance of the daisies, the daisies all over the meadow, all over the field is her favourite. I like the way this daisies dance, the, the daisies dance as well. Blow, oh blow, you happy winds, singing summer praises. So, um... I think blow, blow, because uh, it, it's, t t it's a time to be happy. The wind should blow. And uh, we can see all of the heads of the flowers dancing. 
um, and the wind is singing the, about the beauty of summer, the beauty of these flowers. Up the field and down the field are dancing with the daisies. So the wind is making the daisies and the flowers dance by going up and down the um, meadow, the field. And this dancing, this is um, it's praising summer, it's praising the beauty of nature. And this poem, it just says how beautiful, what a wonderful thing nature is. So enough. Daisy Time by Marjorie Pickthall. If you enjoyed the video, give it a rating, subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.